Right, question six, uh, sorry, question 10. So let's have a look. The equation of the line k is y is equal to 2x plus 5. Okay, so that's uh, like k there. Uh, this intersects the y axis at point uh, 0, 5. Okay, that's shown there, and the axis is at point p. Find the coordinates of point p. Okay, so down here, y would be equal to 0. So if we set uh, k is equal to if we set k uh, equation, so 2x plus 5, that's about 2 there, uh, 2x plus 5 is equal to 0, so 2x is equal to 5, sorry, minus 5, therefore x is equal to minus 5 divided by 2, so this point here is going to be um, minus 5 over 2, and we know that y is 0. Okay, uh, so that's that one. The line n is perpendicular to the line k. Okay, so that's the blue line up there, I think. Yeah, okay, and goes through the point 0, 10, right? Grand. Um, find the equation of line n. Okay, so we need to find this. Well, we know the slope of this one, so the slope of this one. So slope of k is um, 2, okay, because it's y is equal to um, 2x plus 5, so this is the slope here, okay. So if the slope of that is 2, therefore the slope of uh, n it's perpendicular to that, which means it's um, 1 over 2 negative. Okay, so we know that much. Um, what else do we know about um, n? Well, we have a point for n, so that's 0, comma, uh, 10, right? So that's x, comma, y. So we can use the point slope formula then to help us out. So y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1, where uh, point is 0, 10, okay? So let's put that in. Um, so we have y being 10, sorry. Um, so y minus 10 is equal to minus a half outside of x minus uh, zero. Okay. So we'll leave that there for the moment. Uh, so this is going to be minus a half x and the zero just goes away. Okay. Um, and they want it in this kind of a form. Okay. And we'll do that in a second. And they want it in integers. So they don't want any fractions. Okay. So we need to fix that too. Uh, so let's move everything over to one side. Um, so we will have minus a half minus a half x actually we'll go the other way let's move the minus x over so that'll be a half x plus y minus 10 is equal to zero but now i need to double everything so um, because i want to get rid of the fraction so let's just multiply that by 2 to give me um, x plus 2y minus 20 is equal to 0. Um, so that's what they want, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that's my answer. All right, and that's it for question 10.